Uh, my name is Mark Sharp, 102 Cobblestone Trail, DeKalb, Illinois. I just uh, got in here, so I, I hope I'm not repeating anything that anybody has said already. Um, I do have a, a, well, first off, I'm glad to see we have a lot of people here. We probably have more people in this room than voted in the last municipal election, so I kind of wish most of you would have stood up and voted in the last election here. We need more representation like we see here tonight. Um, one thing I do have a problem with, I don't know if anybody reads the check register that is posted online by the city of DeKalb. It is a great resource, and I encourage everybody to read that check register. Now, Mr. Paulson, during the campaign, you focused a lot on wise fiscal management, cost containment, and revenue enhancements, which you spoke of in the mayoral debate here. And I, I want to uh, start by saying that I, I do have a problem with some of the statements that you mentioned. We're using the word, we're using the word um, bankruptcy, which was not mentioned in the mayoral campaign or any of the aldermatic campaigns. Um, on the check register, I've noticed some interesting things on the check register. Cost containment, meals for staff members. We spent, let's see if I can find it here, $57 on Pizza Hut, okay? I love Pizza Hut just as much as the next guy. We need to rein in some of these. In fact, no, I'm sorry, it was $130 for a conference or something spent on Pizza Hut. Whoever handles the credit card billing there are some finance charges on our first bank card that we have issued by the city, late fees issued, and there's $100 in fees here. I mean, these are just small things, but they do add up in terms of cost for the city. I see that we spent $886 on a DVD player. I can get one over at uh, Big Lots for 20 bucks. I mean, there's some, there's some silly costs that we are wasting money on. Now, how many of you read about the $40,000 the city wants to spend on a camera to monitor dumpsters? <laughs> Who has seen this? Uh, well, let me ask the alderman. Which of you are in favor of having this item remain in the budget? And you can respond to me. Mr. Paulson, would you like to start with you? Would you like to tell No, I'm not going to answer your questions, Mr. Charvon, and I, I believe your three minutes are up. Well, I mean, Mr. Charvon, if you want to speak... Paulson, Th we're this is not a debate here tonight, Mr. Charvat. You were elected by the citizens to take into what people have to say. Forty thousand needs to be justified when we are cutting costs, when we are cutting costs for valuable services like Transvac. Okay, here we give our, our city manager a two hundred fifty dollar a month allowance for education when we're taking away from people who need it. Yeah. Here's the guy. We, we are paying him, I think, $120,000 a year. I think he can afford his own vehicle with that kind of money. I'm just saying what people are thinking. I stress priorities. Priorities. I hope we understand that. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you.